found something. Signal confirmed. something. Commander, Admiral Hackett believes this system may contain assets we could use for the Crucible. Signal confirmed. something. Signal confirmed.
found something. Crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. I've heard rumors of Cerberus activity on Tachanka, but nothing about Turians. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie. Did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by reefer harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. The level of destruction is rather amazing. on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Then surprise is on our side. Exactly. Let's go.
main crash site ASAP. The pressure for Lieutenant Victus to succeed in light of his father's promotion must be intense. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. Let's move! Reaper blood with fear! <laughs> 
this way. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men! I own what happened here today, but we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian, and we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan-Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is, we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. 
Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories, at which you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. That's all. Of course, Commander. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. at your private terminal. Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. 
That is unlikely. Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rathnite occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Salarian sees thousands of Rathnite. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about the humans. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So that went well. Glad to see the Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission to the Galactic Corps. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. Hello, Shepard. Because you don't drink. How do you know? You've never asked. Greg, would you like to share a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy with me? No, thank you. I don't drink. Excellent. More for me. Hello, Commander. Commander. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. Turians on a secret mission to Tichanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Maybe later. A bomb? What were the old Primarchs thinking? Sounds like they thought it was the safe option. Safe? Destroying a sentient species homeworld? It could have ignited a galactic war. The Turians were out of their minds to risk this.
thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. I'd love to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresh a maw with shotgun blasting, roaring raw, than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaka in the vein. Off to fights and stories can't with diplomats instead of a grant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a broken queen. For she is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer Pat Of course. I really had to twist your arm. Good, Commander. Commander? Dire news from Earth. Off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the Reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Commander. should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let the wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonko was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts.
being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. Sir. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Primark's son is in over his head, no? Hey. Good job. Shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan from becoming a threat. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. 
With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Casualties! 
bomb. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. An effective way to deal with an enemy. The Turians who created this have my respect. But we're running out of time. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Disarm the trigger. Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear?
Commander! Firewall's down! I'm in! Spirits! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate! Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb! Now! Cover me! Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the Lieutenant die for us. For his platoon. It hits close to home. I'm getting tired of seeing people die. Lieutenant Victor's fought for a cause he believed in. A soldier can't ask for more than that. He died well. Nobody dies well. I'm tired of saying otherwise. Good work on T'Chunker, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Pack it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primarch, you had a bomb at Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard! It's over! His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. 
His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. Again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this alliance is off. Just bear with me, Rex. This is hard for all of us. I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the Genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. Good. Now, is there something you need? That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. Commander? What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper is going to be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can. Commander. 
The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tachanka, really. It's good to see you. Sacrifice among my people is expected, but saying that, he did us proud. Garrus, you there? I'm here, Rex. I'll assume you didn't know about this. My good friend wouldn't hide the fact that his people planted a doomsday bomb on my planet, right? Rex, I was just as much in the dark as you, honest. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear. Just making you sweat, Garrus. Wasn't sure you could. You're always so calm. I'd be happy to give Krogan some lessons on relaxing. <laughs> and we'd be happy to feed you to a thresher maw. Rex out. And next time, Shepard, don't let him near the intercom. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing, now. But ingenious, back then. I'm glad Rex is taking this so well. My people haven't exactly treated his kind with charity over the years. How's it going? Certainly possible. Would require strengthening exercises. Get muscles to support weaker bone structure. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Alloy of Edie's body not flexible like organic tissue could cause unintentional damage. Recommend pillows, cushions, possibly gel packs. Okay, that's a little weirder, but yeah, all right, cushions. Positioning critical to success. Can forward Edie charts, videos with relevant data. No, 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 let's, let's, uh, uh, Edie's pretty busy with, you know, stuff. Let's, let's, let's send, uh, just send that to me. Uh, you're not gonna tell anyone about this, right? Like, like Shepard? Shepard doesn't really need to know. Ah. Guarantee Shepard won't learn about it from me. He's standing right there, isn't he? I wish I wasn't. Something else, Commander? Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes, nothing struggles, nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? Lovely. 
Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon completely different. He's a psychotic mental maniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor. You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams would like to speak to you. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle at the same moment the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Commander. Cerberus. It was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Good to see you, Commander. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? 